Hello my fashion lovers, I am back with a new fashion video. So the Pulse Influencer Award was recently held and we witnessed countless disastrous fashion moments on the red carpet. While majority of your favorite influencers came looking horrible, others came looking criminally offensive. In today's video, let's review and rate Jan looks and let's see who had the worst look overall. I feel that would be quite hard to pick cause so many of them deserve the award. Anyways, if you are interested in finding out who had the worst look, be sure to stay tuned. So before we proceed, it's important to note that the dress code for the event was futuristic fashion. So futuristic fashion is about clothing that embraces technology and are made of unconventional materials and just basically innovative looks that you feel will be a fashion trend in the future. So judging by the dress code, let's see the executions. First on my list, we have PBN star Rootsy in Stitch by Mason. So I saw this dress and I was instantly disappointed. So she had on this mini dress with skin net on the sleeves and bead work on the bodies. And she styled the look with a pair of strappy heels and drop earrings. So let's forget the fact that she did not stick to the dress code. The look was sincerely boring in my opinion. The structure wasn't so bad but could have been executed better. The fabrics she utilized were given nothing aside them on the tight budget. This is giving something a tailor's apprentice made, not an actual tailor or designer. The styling of the look was equally flat in my opinion. There was nothing exciting or innovative about this look and this was obviously one of the numerous sad looks we spotted at the event. I would rate this look a solid 2 over 10. Next we have Cole BBN star CJ giving shades of brown. So he has always had a distasteful fashion sense so this was no surprise. So he had on a light brown jacket, a black shirt underneath, paired with darker brown fitted pants and he completed the look with brown and black Chelsea boots. So I don't know if you forgot to iron the entire outfit or this is what futuristic means to him. The entire outfit was very basic, boring and bland. And aside failing to execute the dress code, this look was a bad choice for this sort of event. It's sincerely given cameraman of the day, it's given Mobomo branch. I wish he had opted for something more exciting and appropriate. And I would rate this look a solid one. Next we have Chomzy giving Asho a big girl. So she had on this strapless floor length lace dress which was plattered with beads and designed with a satin fabric. The dress was styled with this black bag embellished with pearls, a stack of fancy bangles and a wristwatch. Chomzy has never been that girl when it comes to fashion but I never knew she was this bad. How do you interpret futuristic fashion on Asho a big dress? This is giving past and no future. Our shabby dresses these days are clearly way more interesting and this was given 2014. It's not a terrible look but a badly styled one and failed to comply to the dress code. I would rate this look a solid 4. Next we have yet another catastrophic look. So I don't know this man's name but all I can say is this was really sad to see. This was sad to see because he clearly put in efforts but just failed. I'm sure he wore this and it was like, oh no, not maybe the future. I'm quite confused as to what part of the future inspired this look. And if there's anything about the future that looks like this, then we are in trouble. So it's a monochromatic look which included a red shirt, red pants and red skirts. A very dangerous look if you ask me. The structure was just awful and I sincerely feel shy on his behalf. The styling did not help matters and I would rate this look a solid one for efforts made. Next we have his BU in a monochromatic look as well. So he had on this white agbadas plattered with embroidery at the front and was paired with white fitted pants and a pair of black shoes. He styled the look with a gold neck piece, silver bracelets and dark shades. So the agbada was finely tailored and was not a bad look but he clearly missed the dress code. If he had worn this to a wedding or random one bear events that would have made more sense but wearing this to an award shoe that had a dress code was clearly not a good idea. This was not futuristic. This was not innovative and this was clearly not appropriate. I would rate this look a solid 4 cause it's not terrible after all. Next we have famous BBN couple Shegs and Bella. So they both came looking very casual which was slightly disappointing. So Shegs had on this quite interesting shirt and plain pants paired with black shoes, dark shades and a bunch of jewelries. There's nothing disappointing about his own look. He's known for seven basic looks and this is his typical style. But for Bella I was very 
very underwhelmed because I know Bella is an ultimate fashion girly. So the fact she opted for something this basic, knowing she was going to receive the Fashion Influencer Award, was very questionable. So it's a beautifully detailed yellow dress with halter neckline paired with gold strappy heels and chunky gold earrings and bangles. It's giving plain Jane and clearly did not suit the event. They both looked very basic and our to both looks is solid for. Next we have Sophie in this sparkly jumpsuit. So she won best dressed female at the event with this look and that was quite funny. So the plunging jumpsuit featured a deep V neckline which revealed her cleavage and was styled with black strappy heels, chunky gold bangles and earrings and the look was completed with pink framed dark shades and crowned with sleek short hair. So I can't say anything futuristic about this look but I guess they had to pick a winner and the other looks were not it. It's not a revolutionary look but it's not a bad one either. So this is not a part of my worst dressed list. I just wanted to share my thoughts on how winning the best dressed and I would like to know yours as well. Speaking of best dressed, next we have the best dressed meal at the event. So I feel they came prepared and they clearly deserved their award. Akin Faminu is an authentic fashionista and has proven that once again. So this was designed by orange culture and was made of this luxurious black fabric. He styled the look with his unique eyewear, statements making hats and shiny leather shoes. From the structure to the texture to the styling, this look was definitely given futuristic. The accessories were on point as well and crystal clearly elevated the look. It's a solid sleigh in my opinion and hands down the best look at the event. Anyways, we can't complete this review without talking about the release look while hosting the event. So we had on this ensemble by Imagine designer Udia Gebi. The ensemble featured a champagne gold two-piece which included a flamboyant silk jacket and matching white leg pants paired with a unique shiny black vest and insane stack of jewelries and sparkly boots. You also had on this avant-garde hairstyle and glowing makeup that completed the look. Thin really has a very bold and audacious style and I kind of liked this look. Although I feel the black vest wasn't needed and they could have opted for a different pair of boots but it's Thin really it loves being extra. In as much as I do not agree with some aspects of this look, I must say it's an interesting look and one of the coolest looks spotted at the event. Anyways, we've come to an end of today's video. Be sure to let me know your opinions on this looks in the comments. Is there any of the ratings you agree with and is there any you do not agree with? Remember, everyone has their own take on fashion and I would love to know yours. Who had the best look and the worst look for you at the event? If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Also, give this video a thumb up to help the algorithm push it to more audience. Shout out to all my returning subscribers. You all are the absolute best. Bye for now and see you in my next video.